I really want you to like take this time out right now to really go hard and just really bet on you. Like you have to know that you are going to go all in right now during this summer and make sure that the next season, this next year, is going to be your best one so far. You have to. Like my boy says, man, all money in. You have to take that gamble. You have to take that risk and just go crazy right now and just be like, yo, I'm finna, I'm going hard this time. This summer I'm going hard. I'm going harder than I haven't gone before. I can't sit here and keep putting in $2 and I always expect to get $5 out. It's not how it works. At some point, you want to get a bigger return. You want to have the, a bigger improvement, a bigger jump into your game, a bigger improvement on and your quality of how you're doing things, you have to put more in. So that little training once a week you did before, that little thought process of oh, I'm gonna just practice with the team and I'm gonna get better and get a little shot to appear in there how I want. No, that's not gonna work at this next level. You have to really bet on yourself and bet that you're gonna be right and bet that this is what you're gonna make it in and go hard at it. Invest the time, invest the money that's needed to get to that next spot. So you have to bet on you and think that you have to know that you're right about this. So you can't just sit back and be like, well, you know, I made eighth grade team or I made ninth grade team or I made this level and I'm going to keep doing what I No, 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 no. That's, that's not going to work. Each new level you're going to get at. It's a little bit tougher, a little bit harder, a little more challenging. So you have to go in and go harder than you did before to get to where you're at right now. It's not going to work the next time. I, I strongly believe that if you bet on yourself and you put in more work, that you will, it, it, it's going to be very hard for me to believe that you don't get a better outcome. Very hard to believe that. Now, I'm not guaranteeing you're going to make the team because you might not be working smart. You might be working hard enough. You might be working harder than you did before, but it's still not enough, the, the requirement, this the threshold needed to get to that level. I'm not going to guarantee that, but I guarantee you will see improvement. It's very hard for me to believe that you're investing into yourself enough to you're doing the research needed to uh, eat the right food, sleep the right way, train the right way and not get a better outcome. I find it very hard to believe. So I'm using these these minutes and this opportunity to tell you to go hard and do that right now. That might mean investing to a train that might mean taking more time away from playing the video games, from playing Minecraft and on scrolling through TikTok and everything to put more time into your game. But you're going to have to bet on you. You're going to have to take that investment of time. And it might mean get a little part-time job to, you know, pay for more uh, training sessions. It might mean get a part-time job to get more training equipment, pay for a program or whatever. But you have to bet on, that's what really betting on you means. That's what it means to invest in yourself. You have to pay for things that are going to feed back into you. But you pay money for this food, the food's going to be a good investment of returns because it's going to make you be able to train and recover and give you better energy on it. You're going to pay this investment on this training program or this course, whatever, and in return, it'll make you a better basketball player. You're going to pay and invest to this trainer to make you a better basketball player. You have to bet on you to make sure that you're going to, out, you're going to, you're going to produce this outcome later on that you're looking to have. But you're not going to do that if you're not willing to bet on you and bet that you're you're worth this thing right here that you're going after. You People are quick to bet money on the uh, NBA players doing this stuff and they're gambling doing that. But how many of those people are willing to bet on themselves to do the exact same thing? And I'm the opposite. I don't bet on other people. I bet on me. I will put money on me to be able to do X, Y, and Z because I know myself. Man, bet 500, I'll shoot this shot. Oh, man, what ball you want me to use? Bet. How many attempts I get? Cool. If I can do it, I'll put money on if I don't. If I can't do it, no. no I'm not a fool. But how many people are willing to put that bet into themselves? Not that many. Why you don't see a lot of people doing a lot of uh, spectacular things or certain level of things? Because they're not willing to bet on them and invest on them. So my boy, like, once again, like my boy says, he ain't my boy, but... You know, I respect Nipsey, Nipsey Hustle. All money in, no money out. He went all in on himself, all in on his business. He bet on him that this rap career is gonna be what it was. Now he's a legend. You feel me? So are you gonna bet on yourself and become a legend in your own way? 
all money in, no money out. Hey, 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 relax. It's okay. Listen, I understand that your goal is so big that it just feels daunting. It just feels overwhelming. Like, you're trying to get to the NBA. You're trying to get to the WNBA. You're trying to play D1 college ball. I understand sometimes that feels like a lot. But listen, you're not going to you're not gonna make that jump from now, tomorrow, to be to the league or being D1. So let's just slow down and focus on the whole journey. Enjoy where you're at right now, but don't get too comfortable. You have to still keep working. You still have to make some type of progress and still keep growing. All you got to do is think about this. If I The minimum I can do today is get 1% better, you win it. Because there are some people going to take steps backwards. There are some people that's going to stop and just be equal. But technically, you're not going to be equal because I'm getting better than you. So it means you fail backwards now. And so you got to get 1% better. Because it's, it's, a, it's a slow grind from where you're at now to where you want to get to. You don't have to worry about taking taking over the world in one day. Just take over step by step, one piece at a time, 1% better. It's a whole journey, okay? You you got this goal that's just hanging over you, weighing you down. But this goal, the end destination, it's not going to change. So you have to appreciate the journey and taking steps to get there. You're a marathon runner, but the whole marathon is about focusing on that next step. So I need you to go ahead and look at whatever one you want. You can get this one or the other ones. But I need you to get get this reminder for you. Get get you a hoodie, a t-shirt, whichever one, as a reminder that progress is my only goal. And progress don't mean I'm perfect. Progress don't mean I'm there. Progress means I'm getting better. Because better and better adds up to being the best you that you can be. But the best is not existing because you're always going to get better. So get you this peaceful reminder right here to say, hey, all I got to do is be a little bit better, 1% better, and I'll get to that goal at some point. So remember, it's about the entire journey and not just the end goal because progress is the only goal.